Let's take a second to talk about UIKit versus Swift UI. So UIKit is what we've used to build our user interfaces uh, in iOS development pretty much since it came out. And Swift UI seems to be this new uh, direction that Apple's going for all of its future development. Now we first even heard about Swift UI in the summer of 2019, and it finally just came out of beta in fall of 2019, but it is still extremely early in its development. So you, as somebody just starting out in iOS development, you're probably asking, what should I learn? Should I focus on UIKit or should I focus on Swift UI, right? Because if Swift UI is gonna be the future, like I wanna focus on where Apple's going, not where it's been. And that makes sense, I get what you're saying, but let's talk about that for a second. The bottom line is with Swift UI, again, it's super early in its development. It's not going to be relevant in the job market for a couple years. And by relevant, I'm not saying there's going to be no Swift UI jobs. I'm saying that like a large chunk of jobs will be Swift UI. And I think that's still two, three, four years away. And the typical time frame it takes for someone like you who's just learning iOS development to get that very first job, that can take six months to 18 months to even two years, right? Like that's the typical time frame. So this course is coming out in March of 2020. I would say two years from now, Swift UI will just be starting to kind of hit its stride. But let's think about this for a second. The App Store has been out for 10 years. And the way we've made apps up till now is with UIKit. So that is millions of iOS apps built in UIKit. But even next year, two, three, four years from now, when you're out in the job market, there's still an extremely high likelihood that the app you get hired for will be either all UIKit or still have a lot of UIKit. So the bottom line is, you know, you're asking yourself, which one should I learn, UIKit or Swift UI? you're gonna have to know both. So in this course, uh, we focus on UIKit for the most part, but I do have two videos towards the end of the course where I talk about you know, what Swift UI even is, the, the paradigm shift, how it's different from UIKit, some of the benefits you get from Swift UI, and then we're gonna build a pretty basic screen in Swift UI so you can get like a taste of, of how it works. But again, the entire goal of this course is to expose you to this world, give you that foundation of knowledge, so when you wanna take your knowledge even further down one of these paths, you're doing it from a good foundation. So to sum that up real quick, you're gonna to have to learn both because we're way too early in Swift UI's development for it to be relevant in the job market. And like I said, most of you watching this are gonna be in the job market within a year. Swift UI won't quite be ready. And even so, millions of apps are already in UI kit. So you're gonna to have to know that. It's gonna be hard to avoid. So unfortunately, the answer is you gotta learn both and we're gonna expose you to that in this course.